Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to get custom backgrounds for your Xbox 360 and Xbox One wirelessly from your iOS device. So first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to Safari. You're going to want to go to the search bar and type in anything that you want. I chose this, Optic Gaming Background. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to click these where did it go? Oh, click these three dots, press view image, and then hold down the screen until save image and copy shows up, which I already have the image, so I'm not going to do that again. And then next what you want to do is go to the App Store and download TV Assist, and then you're going to want to open it. It'll ask for access to your uh, pictures and all that fun stuff and that's all you have to do for the iPhone side of things and now I will show you first the Xbox one and then the Xbox 360 what to do on there so uh, yeah thanks for watching next what you want to do is you want to open well first you want to download the media player for your Xbox one then you want to open it and once you open it you should see your device right here as mine is Logan's iPhone so, press A on it. You go. It'll ask you to uh, allow the pic. I mean, allow it to use your pictures, as I said. So you want to press A on pictures, and then I'm just gonna go with my camera roll. And you just wanna click the first one, or yeah, the first one, because that will be the newest one. And here it is. It's kind of a beauty. So next what you want to do to make this your actual background is really simple. You press this menu button right here for your Xbox One controller, which is the three lines, which also used to be the start button. Then you press set as background, and then you press A. And look at that. It's the background now. Um, to get your tiles transparent, let me show you that quick. So you go into settings, and then you go into my Xbox stop listening and then you go to tile transparency and mine's mostly transparent and there's four different levels which I'm not going to show you here but yeah and I mean that's all there is uh, I, I will link in the description my video how to record your iPhone screen or iPad screen using iOS 8 which is unpatched so just remember that um, yeah, so that's Xbox One, now I'll show you 360. Okay, so here we are at the Xbox 360 dashboard. All you're going to want to do is go over to the apps. Notice how I'm zooming in on it, because, yeah. You want to go to the apps section, and then you want to go to my apps, and then you're going to want to go to picture viewer. Now, you're going to keep this app open I want to express that right now otherwise you will have issues keep it open on your iPhone and then you're gonna want to select the iPhone that it's open on which for my case it is Logan's iPhone 6 press A and then you go to well whatever section you want mine's camera roll and then it will be the first picture because that is the newest so you press A on it and a lot of people will uh, be wondering, well, that's just a full screen look. But really, all you want to do is highlight it. Do not press A on it. Notice how this says Y. Apply it as background. So you press Y, and then it'll ask you, and you just press yes. And it's that simple. Sadly, it does keep this little gray space at the bottom, though. But, you know, it's just how it works. Uh, I have another video. Uh, telling you guys how to uh, play music on your Xbox One and Xbox 360, which will also be linked down below, right next to my video that has uh, how to record your iPhone, iPad, any iPod, anything on iOS 8. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and 